Hello everyone, it's Carla Stevenay, and today's video is going to be a black smoky eye makeup tutorial. This is really easy to follow for beginners and I try to make it as simple as possible for you guys. Also subscribe for more makeup tutorials in the future. All right, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I'm just starting with a clean face and clear eyelids. Do not mind if you can hear a little bit of rain and thunder in the background. It is currently raining where I live, but I am going to start with an eyelid primer. I am using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer Stick. This has literally worked for me for years. Basically, a primer helps make sure that your eyeshadow stay creaseless, show up for its with its full pigmentation, and it just helps to make it last all day. A primer is so important if you have not been using that for your eyeshadow, then that's probably why it looks chalky. It really doesn't show up as nice without a primer, so I highly recommend one. This one works great for me. I'm gonna just start by priming my lids. Then I am taking my Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush, and I'm going to use this to blend out the concealer. You can also use your finger, but I just like how it just shows up really smooth when I blend it out like this. And you just use padding and circular motions if you're gonna blend it out with a concealer brush. And just do this very soft. And if you're wondering why my eyes look brighter, I just put it right underneath my eyes where you brighten just because, you know, I had a little bit extra concealer on my brush. And yes, this is what it looks like. So this is a really beginner friendly eyeshadow tutorial. I wanna go really in depth because it's just focused on the eyeshadow in this look. Okay, so for this eye look, I'm using MAC eyeshadows. This is my customizable palette, but literally all you need is a brown of some sort and a black. It's just that easy. The key to doing good eyeshadow is good blending. So I'm gonna be using this black, and I'm also gonna be using this um, like lighty, lightish brown color. It's showing up pretty accurate on screen. So yeah, I'm going to start with my transition shade and that's the shade that you put in the crease. If you don't know what a transition shade is, that helps make all of the eyeshadows blend together on your eyelid. I'm gonna demonstrate by using this color and showing you what I mean. So I'm just gonna work this in my crease. And you see that? You see how much better and just contoured my eyes look? This is just gonna help make that black blend really nice. So I'm working this high up in my crease with a fluffy crease brush. This is by Morphe. This is number M501. And I'm really building up this brown in my crease. So we got our transition color down and this is what it's looking like. It's just a nice blend in our crease. Now we're going to go in with the black eyeshadow and focus on packing that directly on our eyelids. That's it, pack it all over our eyelids and directly on our eyelids. Don't mind how dumb it looks right now. It's gonna come together with black eyeshadow. It looks really dumb until you blend it out, especially if it's the only color you're using in your look. Literally take a fluffy brush and just blend what we already put down. We're not adding any more product, we're just blending. To do that, you just apply a little bit of pressure and go in circular motions. It's, that, it's just that easy. After blending, it's still not complete though. We're gonna add some more product, but just to start, we're gonna blend. You notice, I told you, blending is the most important part of an eyeshadow look, especially a dark, smoky eye like this. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit more of that black product and blend that in our crease with that same brush we already done used. But don't add too much. Just literally pat your brush, pat your brush into it one time and then blend it in our crease. This is a really big, dense and fluffy crease brush, but we're working that black up a little bit higher. And we're just working that in our crease. So then from there, we are going to use that same brown we initially used, use a big fluffy brush, and blend that brown with that black once again. Same 
into colors. Adding some of that brown and just keep going back and forth from your black to brown till it's smoked out the way you want it to be. We're gonna go back in and intensify the black on our eyelids a little more cause that needs to be where it's darkest at. So it's kind of like an ombre from the black to the brown to your skin tone. and keep building up the black on your eyelid. Focusing on your eyelid so it's super extremely, extremely dark. Going in with a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush, I'm gonna work that black back in my crease. You see how long it really takes to do a proper smoky eye? You really have to blend, blend, blend or it will not look right especially when it comes to using one color like black. I'm gonna go in with my brown color one more time. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible by only using two, uh, two colors. Like I said, the focus on a smoky eye is just blending. So I'm just blending this brown with that black so it's a smooth transition. And that is it. So you guys see I have that brown transition. I have the black color, it's a little darker right directly on the lid. And it makes for a very smooth and simple black smoky eye. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face makeup and then I'm gonna come right back at you. All right, guys, so I'm back after doing my entire foundation routine. Like I said, it will be listed down below. But what I'm gonna do is I did my foundation and my eyebrows. So now to finish off your eyes, your eye look, what you're gonna do is highlight underneath your brow bone. I'm using my Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm taking the color Summer, which is right here. And as you guys can tell, eyebrow highlight is very important for a completed eyeshadow look, as you guys could tell. It really brings it together. And then finally, because that this is like a black eyeshadow look, what I like to do is always smudge my eyeshadow down underneath my lash line as well. So it's super duper simple. What we're gonna do is just smudge the black underneath our eyes with a smudger brush. I'm using a Sephora brush. I'm taking the same black eyeshadow we used earlier and simply Patting and lightly smudging. You start by patting with the smudger brush, then lightly smudging towards the center, focused on the outer half of your eyelid. You see how that just kind of pulls it together since it's such a dark look? You see how that drastically changed the eyeshadow. Look from here to here, okay? So now we're gonna do the other eye, super simple. So you guys notice how nice this eyeshadow looks now? You guys see that? Super nice and smoky. We literally only use two colors, okay? So to finish it off and add a little bit of spunk to it, I'm gonna apply some black eyeliner. I'm using Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eyeliner in the color Perversion, which is their dark black color. So I'm just gonna put that on my waterline. So that just intensifies it, makes it look even more smokier, but it's super easy because you just put on your waterline. And then finally, one last step. I'm going to take this golden color from my Tardis Pro palette, and it is this one. It's just a gold. And I'm gonna brighten in the inner corners with it. It's gonna look super pretty, and it's still super simple. So I'm just gonna put it right here. and brighten the inner corners. Brushing it out to open our eyes because this is such a dark look, it's so closed off. But this is gonna add that little bit of brightness we need. 
All right, guys, so I did set my face makeup with some setting spray, if you're wondering it, why it looked different, and also that's gonna make my eyeshadow look different. I used the Urban Decay D Slick uh, setting spray as well as the Coconut Water Face Mist. To finish off today's eye look with the smoky eye, I'm just going to go in with some mascara, and I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion. And that is it for my smoky eye eyeshadow tutorial. All right, you guys, so that is it for this smoky eyeshadow tutorial. If you are new to my channel from this, be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. Yeah, that is it. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. What do you mean?